Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Celeste. It's time to have a look at the seasides. Just because there's going to be a, a heart gate that we'll need all of the, the seaside hearts to be able to get through the, to the end of Farewell. We haven't quite got to that gate yet, but I'm... Oh, I'm just needing to do something else at the moment. Because apparently Farewell is harder, somewhat, than the Seasides. Which is hard to imagine when the first thing here wants me to go absolutely insane. Oh my goodness. Music's cool though. I think I need to dash up instead of trying everything else I'm just doing. Also, I would definitely not recommend Farewell or the Seasides to anyone who's struggling with the B-Sides. Probably, unless you're... Like, if you're not... Hang on. Thinking. So if you can get through, like, the bit that I never got past on Farewell, then you can probably do the rest of Farewell and the Seasides. With the whole way, like the one room with the jellyfish we have to go up all the way. If you can get through that on Farewell, at the very least, you can do, probably do, the Seasides and the rest of Farewell. That is my way of thinking about it. Also, this is just really cool, but also really difficult, and I can't figure out what to do on this last tiny bit here because I'm dashing, and possibly dashing too late. Or possibly it wants me to actually let go and jump off. I think it wants me to just jump off straight away. Somewhat? I don't know. Also the core seaside, I, I watched like the end of a video to look at the end of the, 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 the core seaside. And the room in that just keeps going. Jump after jump after jump after jump. It's gonna be my nightmare. Which is also Dylan of Squidville Lives. Nightmare, so. I can't get off of that in time. I'm gonna try a few more things. This room doesn't feel that hard, but this is also the first seaside, so. Oh my goodness, I can't get off of that platform without dying. Also, this is probably going to become a more long-term thing rather than daily episodes continuing of this. I don't even know if I'm actually going to be able to eventually get all the seasides and farewell to complete, so just expect lots of other games in between episodes, possibly. Okay, there we go. These are all going to collapse, I can already tell. Okay. I don't think I'm doing that correctly, but anyway. Hang on. Also, I'm doing this really badly because I should probably use my wave dashing, which we can use in other levels, by the way. And it's going to make quite a, th a few things a lot easier. Hopefully. Not if I'm struggling with just the regular platforming. Nope. I'm really struggling with this for some reason. This doesn't look like difficult 
jumps, but they really are. Also, you can just wave dash off of a platform and not actually need your... what's it called? Your dash. So that might be something I need to consider. Is just not worrying about keeping my dash after a wave jump. Wave jump. Wave dash. Whoa. I don't like the controls for wave dash because it means you have to hold down a little bit, which is probably not what you want to see when you actually make the jump, because then you're gonna just go straight down. Man, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm glad that I actually got stuck on that one room in my previous playthrough, because if I had to get any further into Farewell without the skills that I have now, I would probably lose my mind more than I already have. I still don't like having to go diagonally as well for wave dashing. Because the chances of it actually working are far slimmer than they should be. I kind of want to go up there, instead of around. I'm trying to dis split... You can't do a wave dash in a split decision. You have to have it pre-planned out. You have to know that you're going to do it. Otherwise it just doesn't work. should wall jump off of the top bit. I don't know why I tried anything else than that. Oh my goodness, left, left, not right. I was trying to go left because I didn't see the spikes because the, move, the screen is moving and I don't expect to have to worry that much about specifics when I don't actually know what I'm looking at yet. This game design <laughs> is not exactly made for golden strawberries in mind. The golden strawberries seem more like an afterthought. Because it's not designed smoothly, it's designed that you can only get through if you actually know what's coming up. Unless you have the reflexes of, I don't know, a fly maybe? I don't know, don't, I don't think flies have the re reflexes that I would, I would think they would, I don't know. Because, I don't know, they can still get swatted obviously, so. But obviously they are very good at dodging swats sometimes. And that's what I'm trying to say, but not, it's, it's not the perfect example of what I'm trying to say. That's not gonna work. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. I've been trying to get that hop to work. That double wave, like wave dash into a hop, just skipping a jump. Why can I not get the distance that I need off of this last platform there? Oh, because if you just, you actually go f further sometimes because of actually just not moving. Interesting. Just hold down more and you go further. Except that's not very helpful in the second thing there because I actually need... Actually, no, it is, but I... Yeah, this isn't gonna go well at all. Oh, 
I don't like when games... I mean, it's good for some people, but I don't, I don't like when games are so hard that a casual player could never 100% it. I guess I'm okay if the main game, though, is 100%able for a casual player. Which it definitely is, because I'm able to beat it, I guess, so. And then get this far. Oh my goodness, that's so specific. It hurts. It's so specific that it hurts. You heard it here first. If I'm having this much trouble on this first seaside, I'd hate to see myself playing the core. I would hate to see myself playing the core. That worked out really well when I skipped that. That's strange. Anyway, let's see what this room's like. Oh, I don't like that middle bit there. That looks like pain and suffering. But this is the last room. This is the third room and it's already at the end of the level. We can see a gold yellow heart at the end. Yellow. I'm gonna say yellow. Okay. How? Oh, my goodness. They expect perfection. And I am not perfect at all. I wish that going Ultra Instinct was real life. You know? Because gaming with Ultra Instinct would be great. But sadly, is an impossibility because it's just a made up thing. Oh, 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 no! Why didn't you grab onto the wall? Madeline. Also, I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna have to do a lot of post recording commentary just because I'm gonna be needing to focus as much as possible and I cannot commentate when I'm focusing extremely hard. I really wish an Ultra Instinct existed. I want an Ultra Instinct Gaming. Please. 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 I just want to get to the second part of this room already. I guess I should be patient. I've been fairly patient with the... Farewell, so... I should be able to be... Patient with this bit. And just breathe. Just remember to breathe. And be calm. Deep breaths. Deep breaths are key to Celeste victory. I'm gonna die. Not in the game, in real life. That's what I'm talking about. Dash up. Nope. Getting better at the first bit, at least. Also, if you just lightly jump off of one of these things, it just... Apparently... Oh, please don't make me do that. It apparently just doesn't activate if you just barely hop off of it. Light taps. Wall jumps.
I usually like to play through games that, or record games that I, I know I can 100%. But this game, I went into the, the I went into the post end game, post summit bit, mostly blind. Other than part of farewell and the core. B-sides were all blind. And then the second part of farewell. And also C-sides, sir. Nope, I needed that. If I get through this first one, within 30 minutes I'm going to be surprised, so... How? I'm assuming that I have to dash wall jump uh, at that end bit there to be able to progress. But I don't know how I can do that off of that block there. When the spikes are right there to catch me. did. No, it didn't. I have to let go. I will probably dash off of that. Just like everything else I have to dash off of. I almost got the first one. Almost. I'm struggling, but I almost got the first seaside completed. I'd have to agree with Dylan on this being not as hard as um, Farewell so far. Of course I did that. Of course I did. I need to assess with my eyes a lot faster than I am right now. No, come on, I was so close. That, that, once I get past that bit, I think I'm perfect. I think I'm as good as that gold heart there, yellow heart. Once I get past that last platform there. Too early. And also wrong direction. Possibly. And or. Please, oh my gosh. Nice. Hang on. Something's not right. No, please, no! Ah, oh, almost 20 minutes in as well. 
If I had managed that in that amount of time, that would have been incredible. I almost made it back to the platform. That was my main problem, was not having enough time to really get back to the platform. That's interesting. That's the first time I failed that jump, I believe. And I pressed the button to do it, so I... <laughs> just wrong timing, I guess. My brain is out of sync with everything every now and then when it gets exhausted. My brain has a stamina bar. I wonder if anyone else feels like that. Where your brain can only do so much for a certain amount of time before having to take a second to figure out what's happening. Almost. I think it wasn't low enough on the platform when I jumped off. Okay. Now be very careful. That would have been perfect if I had actually dashed. There we go! That's the first one down. I don't even know if I want to go to the next seaside right now. Just because I'm very content with my first one. In 22 minutes, so... That... 8-bit complete... Sound is extremely satisfying. Um, I died 161 times. It did not feel like 161 times. That's actually crazy. It was three rooms long, and I have double the amount of deaths that I had in the B-side, and it didn't even feel that long. That's crazy. Hang on, let me also look at my journal now. Because that's going to show me the completion of everything in existence. Hang on. The full, the, the full clear isn't existent. The, the full clear, I'm... Um, the, the full clear, uh, also the Celestial Resort Beast side. I don't know what's happening with total times. Oh, record speed runs. What? Um, Okay. Cool. I don't understand at all. Fewest deaths. Yeah, I. This is not making any kind of sense. I'm gonna move this one up so it can be with the rest of the blues. Where's my. Where's my yellow heart? Where's my yellow crystal heart? Come on. It should be on the screen. I really don't know why it wouldn't be. Also the white one, kind of. I wish that would also be there. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, I want to quickly have a look at my profile now, though. Now that I've got a gold, yellow heart, whatever it is. Oh my goodness. 16 hours in, 4,430 no, 4, deaths. Just 10 off of 4,420. <laughs> That's what really matters here. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time for the next Seaside, as I slowly realized that this was a huge mistake, but also the best decision of my life. Maybe. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.